What's up, YouTube? Scott the Fish out here in Pensacola Beach. Had to grind it out, man. It was rough. Waves are bad. Wind was blowing like 50 miles per hour to the east. It says southeast, but that was definitely east wind. Chopped up the, the water like crazy. But I ended up managed catching about seven, five or seven whiting, all by 11 inches. So a good size. Ended up catching a little pompano and a little permit. So it wasn't a bad day to get skunk, but now I'm going to get these fish prepped up, get them ready to cook, and do a little catch and cook for you guys on Pensacola Beach, Whiting. Stay tuned. Taking the shrimp, bust it into pieces, and put on these little worn out circle hooks. Like so, so that's like a fit through the meat, so cover the whole hook, go out through the shell. Do a solid connection. It's a basic popping over rig. just like we do any fish. Follow the backbone all the way down. 
Let the knife do the work. Flip it over. See how white that meat is? It's going to taste excellent. Ooh, butterfingers. Let's cut the little rib cage out. They have a very tiny rib cage, so it's not really a problem. Take your filet, put it in an ice water bath. This guy has eggs. Do the same on the other side. Follow the backbone all the way down. Beautiful bones, nothing, and that's a filet whitey. See, you can see through there. That's when you know you had a good filet. Didn't waste no meat. That's good filet. Guys, now that we got all the fish cleaned and prepped, we're gonna go ahead and start our recipe. The ingredients we're gonna need: onion powder, oregano, parsley flakes, and minced garlic. Some butter, some lemon juice, and of course, olive oil. That's one of, one of the point out of this meat. Look how white this meat is. Extremely white. I bet it's very mild tasting fish. Plus, there's a little bit of bloodline right here. Ew. Disgusting bug. Alright, we're we'll going to go start our garlic butter. Put your pan on medium heat. Tablespoon of butter, maybe a little more, because of how much fish you got. You got quite a bit of fish. We got about uh, 14 fillets, seven fish. So we're gonna put two tablespoons of butter. And we're gonna add our garlic, minced garlic. I like a lot of garlic. And we'll let that cook down, let the butter melt. Garlic cook. We're we'll gonna put that on top of our fish when we bake it. While uh, our <clears throat> garlic butter is cooking, go ahead and preheat pre your oven to 400. And while this is cooking down, let's go ahead and uh, prep our fish. Now right, we got a fish here. What you're gonna do is add a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit. So, there you go, just like that. I like got a little onion powder. Now I add a little oregano. And of course, a little parsley flake. Last thing, let's add a little bit of lemon juice. Now we got our fish ready. Just gotta wait for our butter to be done. And we're gonna put it in the oven. Our butter's done. Let's go ahead and add our butter to our fish. We're gonna put it in the oven. Didn't add all of it. I think I've been with too much butter. There's a lot of fish in here. Alright, we got our oven preheated to 400. We're gonna put it in the oven for about 15 minutes. And I'll be back when it's done. Alright, guys, the fish is done and it smells delicious. Let's try it. Cheers. Mm. 
guys, this is delicious. This fish is very good. Doesn't taste like fish at all. Not a fishy flavor at all. Very mild. It's delicious baked. I'm sure it's even better fried, just like any other fish. If you guys have never tried this fish before, I suggest you give it a try. It's very delicious. Just check in with your local fish and wildlife regulations so you guys will get in trouble for keeping any undersized or oversized fish. But if you guys like these kind of videos, please shoot me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned for weekly fishing content.